Okay, um, I will create a list in TypeScript. So I will use classes. Uh, I will call it my list. And it will accept a generic type. Call it T. And it will have a bunch of private attributes. Private size, type number, private max size. I know I don't need to do this in JavaScript, TypeScript, whatever, but whatever. Uh, array of type, array, it's a generic type. So it accepts the same type uh, as this generic type here. And we have constructor as well where I define the first values. So this dot size, this dot max size. I will start with the max size of 10. And the array will be an empty array. You can do this, but I want to follow the structure of the list of stack the class when they implement it in other languages. So array from length this to max size so this would give us an empty array of the max size and i will put a link in the description for a good video that describes uh, how to do this like in java or something uh, it's from my code school it's a really good video so the first method it will be uh, the insert so it would accept an element from the same generic type and an index number of type number which the default value it would be the this to size this is the default value and it won't return anything anything it won't return anything so a quick way to shift the array and add element in the index the user gave us you can um, do a for loop and uh, and shift every element and stuff like that. It's easy, but uh, a short syntax is to use the slice function on the array prototype. So the array, I will create a new array. Uh, I will expand an array which is uh, from the start of the array to the index I'm about to change. So like this. So this dot array dot slice from the start to the end which is the i the user passed and then i will put the element and then i am i will put the rest of the array so array dot slice uh, from i to this dot max size minus one of course um, so yeah but i think it's complex because of the type so yeah, I can just say as other type T. Don't complain. And increase the size by one. So this means each, each time you call this one, it will increase the size by one, uh, which is good. And yeah, so it's I think I think in the list that we need to keep track of is the max size. And we should implement something that uh, a check if we are reaching the max size, just make the in increase the array length. I know that we to do that, but just for a demo purposes. Uh, or another case when the index is, uh, I think this case just came up to my mind, and then I, I'm not sure if you need actually to implement this, if the or there is oh, or if there is a real case to implement this, but. Imagine the user passed an index which is really bigger than the max size. You need also to expand, so I will implement this. I will call it uh, should expand, and I need to pass the index for it. And this will be uh, a private method in the class. Like this, it so accepts the index time number. And I will do a simple check. If the size, the current size, which is the array of dot length, by the way, uh, it's, it's the same. 
may equal the max size minus 1, which means we reach the end, or then the index the user passed is bigger or equal the max size I need to expand the array. So to do this, uh, and at the same time, uh, uh, keep the previous values. So I will create a new array, split the first, the original array, and then split another empty array using array.from. So pass object length property, this dot max size, uh, this will expand it by 10, which is the default value, but I want to check if the i is bigger, which is the index the user passed, if it's bigger than the max size expanded by i. So like this, if it's bigger or equal, this dot max size, else expanded by i. That's it. And also as array of type t. And then the this dot max size would be the same, will apply this condition as well. So I will expand it by itself if it's uh, bigger or equal to i, um, else I will expand it by i. So each time we insert, we just need to make sure we will expand it correctly. Um, another thing we can say, so pa insert passing the i, the index is optional, but we can create an alias called add, uh, which just returns nothing void and just cause this to insert without anything e and the e is of the generic type so it's just as simple as that like a small alias uh, thing that also good to have is the account and this should return this dot size of assign to number another thing is the remove this will remove element by index I did number, don't return anything. So, and what I will do, I will. Uh, you can also shift the array and stuff like that. But what I will do, I will access the array of the uh, index the user want to remove the element in. So I'll, I'll make it null, and then I will filter the array. So this dot array equal this dot array dot filter. Uh, you can do this boolean this will uh, filter the values that returns false when you try to convert them to a, a boolean which like if they are truthy they return true if they are false they return false uh, and and uh, null and uh, null and undefined is a false values they won't be filtered but that's why I want to use this I will use some like a callback function I will make sure that I will use uh, not equal with double equals null. So if it's not null, then keep it. Just to, so a quick way to re uh, remove element from the array by index. Um, another thing that is good to have is uh, returning a copy from the array. I want I don't want uh, a reference to the array. I want a copy from it. So I will make make a Access modifier get I will yeah I will create a getter which returns the array of the, of the generic type and return I would ha, a quick way to copy arrays just create a new one expand the original one inside of it this is a copy it won't if so if you update this the return value from this one it won't update the original array and the final uh, method before we test this is to add the update so I think update is really simple you can't see it so update uh, the element the new element of type T I type number the index and it won't return anything void first thing to call is the remove and then insert element I as simple as that and we might want to add a function called read by index number then this dot other index i and it will return t of the generic type so let's test this or create an interface 
just to type everything it's called user it contains id type number and uh string of type name of type string uh so to create a new instance my list will be of type my list and the generic type is user user interface new equal new my list uh i will add to it this and another one will be Sara and the ID is two. So my list uh, one second uh, const t to data and this is the so if I hover over it should be array of length 10. The first two elements are uh, Sara and what which is good and let's now test the I'll, I'll keep this here so my my list dot insert i will insert uh, a new object name uh, bottle uh, in the first index so this uh based on our implementation should put this element in the first index and shift these two so polo reward start and if I hover over this, it's polo reward start, uh, Sara, which is good. Um, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I made a mistake because when I hover it over it, this gives me an object. Uh, I didn't expand this array that it sends from here, so I need to expand it. I think you noticed that. Yeah, so now, yes, array of objects as the start uh, so let's test uh, a new thing so let's get the count so yeah count stay uh, does it matter I, I I want to get the length so now it should be 10 which is the max by default it's 10 but what if I want to add this at the position 56 so the, the length now is 10 the original max length plus uh, I itself so that's why it's now 66 and if I get let me get uh, dd it's my list to read at the index 66 dd should be polo um, what il, uh, so I think the final thing we need to test is the update so my list dot update id 8080 yeah updated and the uh, index i will put it as 56 and uh, let's let's go and read this again it will give us an error but let me change the name of the file of the variable so yes as we can see we can see the updated value here so yeah this is like very simple implementation of list as, as you can see, I'm just trying to remember all of this uh, stuff.